What is up, YouTube? I'm up early this morning, gonna do me some detecting. Uh, probably just gonna go hit the park that I've been hitting. Um, hope you guys don't get tired of this drive, but there's usually nobody on this road and, you know, trying to be safe. But, I uh, thought I'd just talk about a couple of my favorite YouTubers on the way in. Um, one guy I've watched for a long time now, Exploring Alabama, he's he's awesome. He's uh, just a funny dude and I don't know why, but I never seem to want to turn his videos off. He does a lot of creek exploring and metal detecting and I guess I can relate to him because uh, he's not finding large scents and coppers and silvers everywhere he's he's like me he finds pocket change and trash <laughs> so uh, we got a lot in common but uh, another guy I really like I want to give a shout out to is is Zach Bird Adventure Hour um, just a really genuine awesome guy I share a lot of the same thoughts that he has you know not all of them but hey it's what makes us unique but uh, if you guys have never seen his channel you need to check it out he's <laughs> he's just got some great videos he spends a lot of time editing and uh, they're really put together well but I just enjoy his content he finds tons of Civil War relics and someday I hope maybe I can get down south and and hunt with one or both of them uh, exploring Alabama is really trying to get on some Civil War sites too but you know I, I just think it'd be really cool to dig something that was in a Civil War battle or camp or, or whatever, just sit and try to imagine what was going on when whoever it was that dropped it or, you know, maybe got hit with it or fired it or whatever it may be was doing. But, um, yeah, just a couple of my favorite channels. Of course, I enjoy trying to give everybody some some watch time that's subscribed to me. Uh, as far as the metal detecting channels, there's just, I mean, hundreds that I, that I can sit down and watch. And I, uh, I always try to watch them to the end, and if I can't, I let them keep playing. I, I mean... 4,000 hours a year is is really hard to accomplish for a smaller channel so uh, you know I try to do my best guys I try to comment and uh, if I haven't ever commented on your video I'll be honest it's just because I haven't got around to watching it yet but I really do try to try to hit everybody a little bit uh, just kind of a thank you for watching my stuff and plus I enjoy any type of metal detecting video I mean they're just fun to watch I love watching people dig stuff up that is old so plus there's just a ton of great people on YouTube I, w I wish I knew where you guys were in everyday life because <laughs> I don't run into I don't run into so many great people as I see on YouTube, but, but, uh, anyways, let's go see what we can get, huh? Hopefully something good comes up today. All right. We'll catch you out there. Hey y'all. Quick wrap up here. Um, found a dollar 47 and change. I'm glad. 
nothing old or silver. Then I got a button. I don't know if that's off of a pair of pants or what, but it's fairly modern. A knob to a stove, which I'm guessing this ring on the outside is the only reason that ring up under the metal detector. It must be a thin piece of metal. And I don't know what this is. It's just a piece of something that was threaded. So. Interesting. And then I got this little partial piece of a toy motorcycle. And my best find is my first Tootsie. It's a Tootsie toy dragster. Uh, I looked it up and <clears throat> looks like it was from the 40s or 50s. So, that was really cool. The thing's complete. The wheels still spin. I couldn't believe it. But that was by far my best find. So, well, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video and good luck out there and happy hunting. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.